about to talk about my first time playing basketball. Like, when I first knew that it was going to be a game I played and loved. Everybody got that one sport, that one thing that they grab hold as a, as a child and it sticks with them. But for me, mine was basketball. I remember at a very young age, just... And the crazy thing was, like, I'm like the only play, I'm, I'm like the only person in my family that really even plays basketball. Like, like plays it like, like I play it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to think, like, because my brothers, none of my brothers are even like remotely basketball players. Like, they might watch the game. They might have been fans of a certain team at some point, but they are not. They're not, they're not basketball players. And my nephew is probably the closest relative I had that actually plays basketball. My cousin Sharif, we used to play growing up all the time. And um, so he might be my closest relative. But um, I'm just trying to think of all the people. Like I had other family members that played ball, probably like, you know, Jamal, but they said Kenny. Kenny, there's a lot of people that play ball in my family. But me, I know, like, I took it seriously. I don't remember ever thinking to myself, like, I don't care if I lose. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember playing every one-on-one, -on -one, and I remember, like, really taking it seriously. Like, even if I didn't take it seriously and I was playing around, um, I definitely did not want to lose. I never, I even, like, you had, to, like, I mean, I remember playing games with, like, four on four, three on threes, two on twos, and you playing defense, and the other teammates or other teammate ain't playing defense, and he's just getting got, bucket after bucket, and you just like, man, I don't care if I lose. But you do, but you don't, you know what I mean? Like, you know you're doing everything you can. You feel like LeBron, when he started shaking Steph Curry and all them dudes' hands in the finals before he went to the Lakers. <laughs> it's like, you like, all right, y'all, like, it is what it is. You know what I mean? But much respect though. Like that I mean like honestly though. I don't really I don't really like get down with losing. And it's not even like like I really don't know how to think any differently. Like I don't. And it's like I don't remember myself ever thinking or somebody telling me like cuz my dad, he's not even a basketball player. My mom, she says she played before but she didn't teach me nothing like as far as playing basketball she didn't really teach me anything you know um nobody really taught me anything about playing basketball you know if my brother did when he used to take me to the park every now and then when i was growing up but after a while i was really like learning the game on my own for a lot a lot of the parts and i'm not even just talking about like learning um I'm not even just talking about like learning the game from other people that you know I came across. I learned the game from a lot of other people, but as far as like somebody like really teaching me the game, never had it. I like um I was a really I was really a a, a, a true fan of YouTube in the in the sense that I I was a historian of the game of basketball. I still am. I like watching interviews, videos of players that I'm, I've never seen before play in, you know, with my own eyes. And I had a real, 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 like, like passion for really learning who these players were. Like, I hated hearing records, and I didn't know what that player meant to that record and how he got it and, and what that looked like when he did it. You know what I mean? Because that really measures the record you know what i mean it's some records that some people get because of opportunity being put in their hands but other records are different you know what i mean like 100 points you know what i mean like it's, it's it, it if they sit you in a chair and they barely got cameras bro think about it they barely got cameras 
Yeah, they got they got news reporters, but they sit you in a chair and they put a hundred on a piece of paper and tell you to hold it. <clears throat> Just so they can take your picture. And the picture is like so famous. <clears throat> like when you talk <clears throat> when you talk about the most famous photographs that speak for themselves, Will Chamberlain holding up a hundred points. It's like, bro, like this man is the GOAT. Like, I, I mean, everybody got their argument, you know what I mean? But you can't tell me that if Will had a Pippin, he wouldn't. Pippin would have been locking down Bill Russell. <laughs> strap, strap, straps it at. Like, and, and Russell wasn't no scorer. But I tell you what, on them Celtic teams, I know who I'm putting Pippin on. Your boy, uh, uh, what's his name, Larry Bird. What? Oh, yeah. I would love to see that when Wood was struggling in the in the in that East with the Celtics. Brad, listen, man, give Will Scotty. It's over. It's over. Like I mean, like he, you seen what he did, the Magic. And then people try to play Jordan like they didn't know it was a height advantage and a weight advantage all on it. Like, come on, man. And the man don't even score. He not even really a scorer like that. He want to play. He want to dish the ball. So, mind you, you got your best defender. Now, man, second best defender if you want to put Pippen like that. But everybody got a better situation. Because now if you put Pippen on Tim Penny Hardaway or, 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 or Tim Hardaway, it's not really a good not really a good thing to do, like that height advantage might get him got out there. I mean, or, or Pippen on AI, like you know what I'm saying, like that's not going really. I don't think that's going to work too well for Pippy. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keep it a hundred. I don't think Pippy going to want too much of AI. Now that would be lovely to see. Oh my God, you want? Oh my God, you put AI and Pippen together. They are getting out the East every year. You tripping, bro. They might get 60 wins back to back every year with Pippen and, 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 and AI. AI never had that wing defender that was like super elite. He had a couple dudes here and there. He was like, all right, that dude could do it. But like, I'm talking about bona fide starters. Like, you know what I mean? Hey, I didn't have no bona fide starters, though. What are you doing, bro? You all in the middle of the road trying to turn right. What in the world? I swear, man. They give license to people just because they can give them to them. They just like giving up a, 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 a car with a picture on it. Mm, niggas think they... I'm sorry, not to say. Mm, people be thinking they special because they got a picture with a car... A, 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 a car with a picture on it now. Like, bro, you still got to take this seriously. Like, this this is not over just because you got through that test. But back to this, yo. Like, for real, for real, though. So, yeah. I remember growing up playing people in ball. And it was certain people, like, you'd be like, <clears throat> he definitely better than me. And I remember I, 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 had a, I had a court in my backyard that my mom brought me probably, like, after my 13th. At that turn 13 or something. And I remember that day that I was like, like, because when, when I was living in Southwest Philly, it wasn't really too many places you could put a basketball court without it getting stolen in the, in the middle of the night. So, with that said, we didn't ever get one when we was in Southwest. And I didn't leave Southwest until I was like 9, 10. So then by the time I left Southwest, uh, we moved up into the suburbs, moved us to like, like Chester and Upland and all that area. I'm living in Upland at the time, going to Main Street, and uh, that's when I really started playing ball, like, heavy, heavy. Like, I always liked it, could never really do too much with it because of the, the, the city that I was in. My mom wasn't letting me at no nine go play at the public park. Now, she, my mom, my mom wasn't. 
Now, I know probably people be like, yeah, bro, I was out there at seven. I get you, bro. My mom my mom was like super locked down on it. Like, I grew up as a Jehovah Witness, so it was a different vibe. Like, I, I, I that's the thing about basketball. Like, I was so sheltered from it that it made me even more, it made me want it more. You know what I mean? Like, I never even got to play for like a high school team. Not because I didn't get to, I, I couldn't go to a tryout or nothing like that. Probably couldn't do that either, but because my mom would have been mad about that. But because of our religious belief, I couldn't even, I couldn't even, I couldn't even play on teams. Like, <clears throat> so oh, football, basketball, even track. I, I would even have done that. Couldn't do it. I would have, I would have definitely did all three. I, bro, I would have probably did four sports to be honest with you, because I really, I really could have seen myself as an outfielder in baseball, because my speed, my hops. My, my eye hand coordination I, like I think it's a lot of kids in the hood that if they had more 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 fathers teaching the game to them like like you know what I mean like we had the Jackie Robinsons what well, after that Rob after that generation it kind of like lost its its like African American touch you know what I mean you got little sprinkles here and there but can you imagine like LeBron James outfielding? Like, yo, like I'm I'm talking about like he golden glove, like hey, yeah, yeah. And I mean, you need like see the thing the thing about it is people always jump to the best player in, in one sport. But Nate Robinson could have been like a crazy outfielder. You know what I mean? People always gotta jump to oh Kobe could have been yeah, Kobe's a great player in basketball. But there's somebody in ba basketball that's not Kobe that could have been, you know, Derek Jeter in the NBA. You know what I mean? He, he might not got the limelight and all that. Oh, man, Taco Bell is lit. I hate this. Bro. My wife is pregnant. So I'm driving all the way around the city trying to get stuff for... Oh my god. It's like nine cars in this taco, but oh my god, it's more than that. Well, plenty of time to talk to y'all. Hey, so listen, right? About about my first experience playing basketball. Um my first time. Well my first time going to like a public park and playing, I think I was around I'm going to say 11. And I remember, like, a lot of people didn't pick me because of my sneakers. My mom was not buying me, no. I remember my first pair of, like, celebrities, like, 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 like all-star sneakers. You know what I mean? Because, like, it was Vince Carter. I had the Vince Sanities. Them Jones was super soft. Had the memory foam in them Jones. Them Jones was sick. Had them all black. I remember playing ball in them joints for, oh, you know what? If it wasn't the Vince Carters, it was the LeBron James twos or something like that with the blue and white. I don't really know what number that was, but I had those two. And those joints, the, the crazy part about those, I found those in Models, right? Going Models. And I remember seeing them on the rack. I'm just like, whoa, bro, they got LeBron's on? Hold on, Models, so they're right. I, Her right now. Hello. Yeah, I'm in this long line right now. What you mean? No. The, the ringtone is some uh, weird job. It's this cricket. I got like four. So what? Why? What, what's up? What you wanted to do?
and uh, <laughs> they, she had got wet, so they was trying to find some clothes for her. And man, that's the reason why. So you told me you want the two Dorito Taco Supremes. Oh, for Dorito Toast. Okay. For them. Okay. sitting in there talking to love because she kept bursting into tears. She's so emotional. Alright, I'm about to come to the uh I'm behind this other person. I said I'm almost at the You know they got the five dollar chalupa box. Nah, I don't think I'm. I don't think it's gonna be enough. For, uh, y'all get what y'all get. I know, I know, I know. All right, well I'm about to pull up to the window. Uh, can I get four Dorito to Taco Supremes? Okay. Uh, that's all. Any sauces for you? Can I get extra mild sauce? Sure. Can I get everything on the screen collect for you? Yes. 1141 will be your total. So you got that first one, though. Thank you. Okay. Hi, how are you? I'm about to, she, she takes me. I'm she good. takes me a lot of mild Hello. sauce. Save her number in this phone, yeah. Just had it, bro. Let me tell you something, right? This pregnancy stuff ain't no joke. Now, I get it. This my this my third kid coming, but she kicking me out, she turned my phone off, bro. And, and I pay the bill, like, bro. She just on some other stuff. I'm telling y'all, nigga, gone through it right now. Oh my god, man. When I say she can't make up her mind, like. I don't know what the hell going on. I really don't. Uh, she might be cheating on me and everything. I don't <laughs> Listen, nigga. All I know is, I, man, I'm supposed to be talking about basketball. I can't even. It's only, man, this this the life, man. I'm just trying to let y'all in. See what it's like for me. You know what I'm saying? I should have just called this a vlog. You know what I mean? Video log, just talk to you. All right, hold on, I'm about to get
gonna call it a video log. I, bro, this video was supposed to be intended for me to talk about, you know, how I started playing ball, but y'all might be interested in how I live, how I live my, my regular boring life. I'm trying to get my subscribers up, man. Y'all can show me some love, man. I'll tell y'all friends and homies about me. I'm about to start getting this video, this video log popping. Man, I'm about to work me that, that, that Craven box. Man, man, spend her money. Y'all want to spend her money? Watch. Watch. Can I, can I add, can I add a craving box to that? No, you can't add anything else to it. Alright. You got the uh, Force Supreme, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, see y'all, there you go. There you go, you watched it. You stay tuned for a reason. Taco Bell ain't, ain't do me right, it's cause I'm black. Cause I'm black. He know, he, he, he know, he know damn well he could, he could host the nigga up. Black Lives Matter out here, we out here losing people, and he can't add an extra order to my joint. It's like, now let me stop trying to exploit the system. But the system is exploiting me. I tell you, bro, I was going to pay cash. He act like I wasn't going to give him money. Yeah, all right. The, cop, the cops on the side of me. I ain't trying to get arrested. He's going to be all behind me. Yeah, he's about to be behind me. Listen, y'all. I'm going to keep the camera rolling, bro. If something happened to me, y'all. Y'all already know what I was doing out here. This is my video log. I'm sitting on 22 minutes recording right now. Can't be true with y'all the whole time. I ain't lie about nothing. If the cops can get me, y'all know I was a real one. He right behind me. See, 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 white people don't know how we be feeling, man. I'm nervous as crap right now. Like the degree. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> bro. I'm so scared. That fucking car beat and I was like, oh shit. I was like, damn, they gonna pull me over right on my video. Bro. I be trying to tell y'all, y'all don't know how shook we be, yo. I hope it's some white people watching my video, bro. Like, listen. I don't know your name, so I'm not trying to call you white people, but I'm just saying. I'm nervous right now. He turning into the gym. Uh, see, see that, that that's that's that's. I just let y'all in of an experience of how it is to ride with the. And I'm recording. Bro, he beat the phone right out my hand. You know what I'm saying. He might see me record and get 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 instantly insulted insulted like wow you really think about that life huh you go out like he might turn into that life just because he seen me think that he was about that life which makes no sense bro, bro listen oh my goodness i'm letting y'all in though i ain't asked for that moment it came to me and i'm just letting y'all know that's how we feel though we be like dang what they gonna pull me over for and most times, black people, we got something we got something we worried about. You know what I'm saying? Like, white people, I get it. Y'all probably feel the same way. But I don't have nothing to worry about, and I'm worried. Like, like, bro, my, my shirt is sure. My, my, my registration is up, up to date. Right, listen. I got my driver's license. I, but they see this new rag on with this, with this, with this scarf and this black tee. My, he think I'm trying to go out there and rob the cities or something. Just because I want to look like Tupac today. Like, it's just crazy, bro. Maybe I just want to wake up and say, yo, I want to look like Tupac. And if a white person do that, they're like, look at that crazy white guy. 
But if a black person do it, like, oh, he's definitely a criminal. I can see it. Come on, why would you, why would you, like, why would you come out the house dressed like that? Like, you already know what we think about you guys. Like, don't do that. You're better off coming out of the house with a suit. And I still might tr think that you're trying, like, super smart and you're trying to trick me. So, it doesn't even really matter, but work with me. You better come out there with the suit. Now, Carlton, that's nice. You know, if you come out with the Carlton, I would definitely believe that you're, like, so, like, cool. Like, somebody I could just walk up to him and be like, how are you doing? Do you like brush bread? Yes, I love brush bread. You know what I'm saying? Perfect conversation to have with somebody that you feel comfortable walking up to. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, how I be, bro? You be just chilling. Like, I'm like, bro, I just want to go out. Actually, I was using this as a mask. Saying, oh no! Black guy! He's trying to rob us! He bought a scarf out! He already knows his dark skin. What the hell is his problem? I'm telling you, man, that's the day of the life, bro. Y'all don't even know. Y'all know y'all be saying that. Y'all know y'all be saying that. Cause I can see it all on your faces. You lying if you saying you don't. Bruh, there's been times when I'm walking down the street and I don't really like I don't really dress like this all the time. I'm just wearing this because it's scarf, you know what I'm saying, cover my feet. But if I was walking down your street, my I'm, I'm a little husky, you know what I'm saying I ate my vegetables. I ate all my vegetables, you know what I'm saying? But I came up walking behind your car, first thing you go in here. Why you locking your doors though? Like why you locking them though? Like, just cause my tea little tight on me don't mean I wanna take your wallet. You know what I'm saying? Then if Chad walks past with diesel arm, he's like, yeah, he's probably coming from Planet Fitness. Me? Yeah, this nigga got, he got fresh out, fresh out written all over him. He got fresh out written all over him. I can just, I can just see it. He did 10 years. I'm on. <laughs> they be like, look at Trayvon Martin. He had to, okay, fresh out. He had to do like 10 years. Trayvon Martin, like 13, 10. I'm like, how you do 10 years? Like, don't gotta make sense, bro. When you and your feelings, nothing makes sense. But everything makes sense. Trust me. Trust me. Not because I'm speaking from his parents, but I got a lot of family that's super emotional, bruh. You can't say too much anything without it being interpreted the wrong way. You throw a good compliment, like you throw a good job. I'm talking about you throw, you throw like a, you throw like a, uh, a, a Peyton Manny type, type, type Tom Brady type compliment, and they're like, you don't mean that. Yeah, oh my God. Who, who wrote that for you? Like, really? Really, bro? Really, bro? Like, why you at? Why you getting all soupy? Like, what's up with this? Like, you don't even get no... Like, every now and then they try, they try, but... We're very critical of each other. But, I always say, in a critical family, and a family full of critical people, somebody rises to the cream of the crop. Cream always rises to the top. And it's gonna be that one individual that that flourishes because they didn't allow it to damage them negatively. You know what I mean? To to too much extent. Like you are damaged. You are, but not 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 as much as the other people. You know what I mean? You didn't crumble. And I'm not saying no, I'm saying I'm not saying nobody in my family crumbled or anything at all. I'm just saying, like, some families, like, that's how it would be. Alright. I'm gonna make sure I give her a change back to the first thing. I'm gonna mess with no girl. I'm gonna give her no reason to make no extra argument. No extra argument. Bro, and listen, listen, listen. I'm not just one of these little baby daddies out here. You feel me? I really do this. I really do this. Like, I really take this baby, I mean, like, taking care of my kids. I'm talking about, like, 
Like, listen, that Kobe thing, I was doing that way before this stuff. You know what I mean? That, that girl dad thing. I always wanted a girl. Ask any of my friends, anybody that know me, they know. Since I was 15, my mom used to get so angry. I'm gonna give y'all a little lowdown on something about me. I told my mom, I was like, mom, you know what I mean? I used to talk to her and I'd be like, yeah, mom, I want, I want a baby, I want a girl. You know, want a girl? You know, want a girl? I want like, I, if I, if I, if I have a child, I want a baby girl. My mom started panicking. She like, you got somebody pregnant, didn't you? You did, didn't you? Oh God! <laughs> oh God! Oh God! Oh Lord Jesus! Oh, oh Heavenly Father, take me down, please, take me down. I was like, oh my, oh my God! I was like, no, nah, I didn't even get nobody pregnant, Mom. You lying? Oh God! She's three months, and you're gonna name her. What's that baby name? You said you wanted to name your girl all the time. You said love. You want to name your girl. But yeah, I did want to name my daughter Love. I said, I, and I did. I named my first daughter Love. That's my daughter's name. She's six. I said, I want to name a girl. If I had my child, I want to name her Love. Funny thing about it is, I had to do some, some, some 007 type stuff. Not even 007. It was just like some on my feet type thinking. You know what I'm saying? And I remember the lady came to the to like my my wife she wasn't my wife at the time but she, she later became my wife she was my wife and she was having a baby and i was sitting in the chair and she, my wife had the baby i don't i think the baby was in the uh in the uh the little nursery part next to her the little, little crib and the lady comes in the middle of the night she's like here's the form you know uh this is the things that you would uh put the child's you know, you know, the name and everything. So it's the form and everything. I'm trying to be technical, trying to sound like the lady. But anyway, yeah, she's coming in with the form and everything. I'm like, oh. So my wife is asleep. I'm like, yeah. She didn't really love, she didn't really like the name Love. I told her I wanted the name of Love. She wanted to do something with R. It would have been like Ramira, Ramaya, or something like that. You know, Ramaya, or something. She, she wanted to do a R. And I get it. Her family had already started a little, little tradition with the names are. I get it. I get it. I get it. I might have drawn, but nah, listen, bro. It just felt like this was from God. Like I, I needed to name my daughter love, and the opportunity presented itself. So I remember taking that form, and I filled the form out. L O V E. Middle name. A D. R I O N N A Adriana. Last name Brown. B R O W N. I boy, I felt that shit. I felt the whole sheet out. Made it look like I was doing my knee from fear. I'm like, mm, yeah, yeah, it's good, bro. I listen, you was asleep. I took care of it. I was like, get your breasts. You okay? I'm here for you. I got this. I got this. I got this. Don't even open up the, the open, don't even open up the folder. I like, you know what I mean? You just, you know what I mean? Uh, boy, she opened the folder up. Yeah, like, oh my God, you really, you really went by my back and did this. I was starting to be like, oh, come on now. Like, you know, you know, you know, you know I wanted to. She wasn't as mad as I thought she was gonna be. She, she, and like now everybody loves the name. They just like, yo, that's Liddy. You named your daughter Love? Like, like you really spelled it out like that? Yeah, I was like, yeah. I ain't do no hood stuff. Like L-U-V, like, why, bruh? Teach your kids how to spell what? Let them know. You know what I mean? I spelled it L-O-V, boy. I love every time I see that name on a piece of paper. Cause like, people gonna think it's fake. They were like, yo, this ain't even a real, this ain't even a real letter. This ain't even a real job application. Love, just, just, just can't be no real. You might even want to just meet the person just because their name is Love. You're like, dang, I gotta hire this girl, bro. You imagine, bro? Like, I gotta hire this girl. Her name is Love. Can you imagine her walking through her, walking through the store with her name tag on and it says Love? Come on, guys. Come on, guys. You know you love that. You love that Love. You would love love. Everybody would love love. 
and, and, and bro, like I be on her though, like not like not super on her, but I, I I be trying to tell her what her name means in the truest form, in the in the in the, in the truest form. Like it perseveres, is 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 strong willed, is determined, is is dedicated, is loyal. You know what I mean? I want her to really embody the qualities that come with that. Cause sometimes you get people, some people give you a name and tell you what it means. And I mean, it's it's hard to really like live your life through that. But love, you live your life through that and you're a girl. I mean, some guys can do it too, but you can't really name a guy love. It's hard to push that John too far. You know what I mean? Like, yo, what's your name? Love, my name's Love, bro. Love. Hey, what's up, love? I don't know. I don't know. It could work. It could work. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comment section. What's up with that? What if, can a man's name be named love? Let me know. Comment section. Could a man have the name love? 